As we head into spring, spring is often the time for change, and what better thing to change than the look of your home? Maybe you just need a facelift, maybe you need a full remodel of your kitchen, your bathroom. Well, we have the guy right here who can help you out. This is Abe Degnan from Degnan Design, Build, and Remodel. How are you, Abe? Wonderful as always, Justin. I love life. <laughs> That's great. Good to have you back, and you certainly do such a wonderful job. I, I get a chance to, I get a sneak preview of the pictures that you send in before the, we even record these interviews and I just love looking at these pictures. So we're going to be looking at a kitchen remodel today That's that right. you guys did. Now um, this remodel, was this part of a larger renovation? How did that all start? It, it is. Um, so our clients uh, are named Eric and Katie and they moved out kind of between Mount Horeb and Verona and they found just this beautiful amazing location in the valley with uh, trees and everything like that. But the house was very 90s and so they wanted a home theater and a bar in the basement. Sure. They wanted a great mud room and living area and a new kitchen. And so today we're going to talk about the kitchen part of the project. Okay. Excellent. Well, can we take a look at a couple of the pictures here? Yeah. So, you know, the before and the after photos, you can just see. If that see. doesn't scream 90s, I don't know what does. Absolutely. But yet, we were talking before the show started here today that I remember when that look was chic. That was the in thing. Absolutely. But, you know, 30 years have passed yeah. already. Yeah. And um, and the, 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 the um, quality, some of the quality holds up and other things. Uh, the refrigerator is one of the next things we're going to talk about. Okay. And it just creates problems because refrigerators have gotten bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger. And so their refrigerator, their newest refrigerator was sticking way out. Oh, and yeah. you know, yeah. one of the cool little solutions that we came up with was to recess the refrigerator into the wall mm -hmm. and then relocate the opening between the oh, wow. uh, mudroom uh, and the kitchen mm -hmm. so that that refrigerator now got a big wall of pantry cabinets alongside of it yeah. uh, and and does not stick out into the working area anymore. I didn't even catch until just now that that's the same refrigerator from the before pictures. You just kind of built the cabinets out. Yeah, yep, exactly. Actually, I think it is a new fridge. I think that we moved the old one downstairs okay. and the new one up, but the Very size was style. the same. Yeah. The si yeah. it, was, it was a new fridge already and they wanted the, the latest and greatest, of course. Right, of course, of course. Well, everything looks great there. And then what about the range and the ovens? Did that get moved? Yeah, that is one of the things that we did move in the kitchen. Now that that again was a newer upgraded gas range and it had a built-in double oven. But the thing is, it was right next to the kitchen sink with hardly any room in between. Mm -hmm. And then and then the other thing is the dishwasher was right on the other side. So you have your sink, your dishwasher and your range right next to each other and all those things are opening up right next to each other. Yeah. So in order to solve some problems, uh, the clients really wanted a real double oven a larger double oven and so we put those double ovens uh, next to the cooktop uh, moved everything over uh, opposite the island so that there was a lot more room and some real beauty and symmetry in this layout as well yes it looks and that, that's really neat to have those the side by side kind of on either side of the of the range there that's great so did anything stay in its original location for this project well the kitchen sink did you know okay. because you, you look at that everything and you moved can, but the kitchen sink everything but <laughs> the kitchen sink, yep. And the windows were in the corner, so we had that corner window layout that we had to work with, and that would have been in then, you know, caused problems with needing to do stuff on the outside of the house. Mm -hmm. And that was not what our goal was with this. So we mm -hmm. worked with that in order to keep the sink where it was, save money, and focus on the interior of the home and still come up with a layout that is beautiful and brilliant. And they got the lovely backsplash wrapping around that yeah. corner and uh, and then as we were working with the quartz countertops gave them a little step up there with that beautiful little area for their flowers and plants. I love that because in the previous picture it almost looked like that space was not meant to be there but now it looks totally intentional it looks like it has a purpose. Always yeah. always intentional yeah. and well designed. So how about the big picture of the entire kitchen? 
Yeah, so uh, as we were uh, making the adjustments then, we were able to put in an island. And then the thing about it was, as we look at the before picture here, mm -hmm. there was this dinette and it wasn't well proportioned. It didn't really work. It was an empty space in the middle of everything. The kitchen was, the kitchen was too small, the dinette was too big. And so we actually created a peninsula layout again with an island. And and so the uh, peninsula gives that seating space, taking a little portion out of the dinette. Yeah. And then uh, one of the things that we'll be seeing in a future segment of the show is going to be the Eden uh, area around where they have a bump out with some beautiful windows. Uh, and then the kitchen, the kitchen got the island, it got all the new pantry space uh, and a peninsula where the family can sit and eat and enjoy everything on a daily basis. Wow. So you're, you're teasing me with what we're going to see next time. You sure you just can't show me today. I'm kind of excited to see that. Yep, we're going to have to wait. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, uh, how do people get started with Degnan Design Build Remodel? Check out our website at degnandesignbuildremodel.com and click on schedule an appointment. All right, Abe Degnan, thank you so much for being here with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Justin. Don't go away. There's more after the break. Stick around.